I was the pilot in this aeroplane this morning, the world's first flight in a fully synthetic aviation fuel powered aeroplane. For the Air Force, it's a small step forwards, but it's a huge step forwards in many respects. It's the start of our journey to become net zero carbon by 2040. We fully intend to do that. We're engaging uh, with many uh, key industry players, academia, um, all sorts of experts in their field to bring the technologies to bear that will enable us to reduce our impact on the planet. So at the moment we're really reliant on fossil fuels, we power a lot of aircraft that way and we are reliant on the massive and very volatile global supply chain and market behind those fuels. Synthetic fuel is something that is clean, it's environmentally friendly, it really significantly cuts our carbon footprint but it's also something that's far more secure for us to access and take our aircraft into the future with. Synthetic fuel is, is itself sustainable but it's a very particular type of sustainable fuel because it's, it's completely man-made so it's an industrial product and we really like to emphasise that. It's made with machines uh, that sit in a factory. So uh, what that brings is uh, incredible efficiency, control, uh, you know, complete, complete authority over the process. This sustainable aviation fuel, which is typically biofuels uh, grown from plants on the land, old um, oils from uh, the uh, food industry, that sort of thing. But this is uh, synthetic aviation fuel. So it's created from uh, green hydrogen and CO2, and that has much less impact on the atmosphere when you look at the whole cycle. So this fuel is distinct because it's made with renewable hydrogen and it's made with um, carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and we process it through a refinery that heats it and in the presence of catalysts turns it into the fuel. That's all, there are no additives, there are no blends, there's no mixing, there's no extensive logistical network harvesting waste and converting it into fuel. So that's why we get such a great carbon saving and that's why we can really assure the quality of the fuel and the high performance it has for our national security assets. When we ran the fuel on the dynamometer last week, um, the performance relative to uh, conventional avgas was identical. Uh, it was impossible to measure the difference between the two fuels, so that, that was a really terrific result. The flight went entirely smoothly. It was remarkable for being unremarkable. From my perspective, although I knew there was this uh, revolutionary new fuel in the aeroplane, I could not tell the difference. The aeroplane performed flawlessly, the engine did, uh, and, and it was a, a dream to fly. The uh, flight exceeded all expectations once we were through the weather window. Aircraft performed perfectly and the pilot's feedback was really positive to the point where we couldn't tell the difference in operating. And that's mirrored what we've seen in the lab with really excellent data results around this fuel. It couldn't have been better. The Illumina form strength 526 left hand, QFE then 984 hectopascals, start approved, report ready to lift. We've partnered with the Guinness World Records team. So the fuel space is really busy. There's a lot of different activity, a lot of research, a lot of innovation, a lot of development. We partner with them to get their independent verification of today's activity and all of the research and development work that's gone through the laboratory and the different levels of testing to really validate what we've done here is different to what we see in the marketplace now and really understand the potential the fuel has for the future. Microlite has a very good power to weight ratio, it can take, and, uh, take off and land in very short distances. So when we come to a big airfield like this at Kemble Airfield, the runway is so big, I need such a small amount of it that should anything go wrong, should the engine fail, I've got so many options to land that aeroplane safely on the ground. So it was all about safety. Um, the fact that it's a small microlite, it uses the same fuel as bigger aeroplanes. We've, we've proven the technology, we've proven the point. We're spending public money on this research and development project and it's a really affordable way of getting the fuel into the sky and proving out what we've seen in the laboratory and what we've seen on bench testing with our engine. By flying it we can see how it feels for the pilot, we can get greater insight and understanding and doing it this way we can make that really low cost activity. We will look at other options for scaling this up um, to uh, larger aeroplanes, greater volumes of fuel. We'll look at how we uh, productionize the process because at the minute it's very much an experimental process. We've proven the technology, but we need to move forward and make it a commercially viable proposition. We uh, will move into making jet fuel as well as avgas. 
um, and we will move in the direction of scaling up. Zero Petroleum have made real headway in understanding the role that the catalysts play in getting a very, very high quality fuel and a really great conversion from our raw materials into that fuel. So we've partnered with them as leaders in that technology to really understand the role that synthetic fuels can play for us in the future and get insight into around how the high quality element of that will fuel our future aircraft. What the RAF gave us with this particular project was a real target and they said, we're going to fly a plane, um, make the fuel please, and uh, that's what we've done. Um, we, we, we made the plant and operated it to make the fuel all in a period of five months, which in, in chemical industry terms is, is really remarkable. Um, and that, that was achieved through, through great teamwork within Zero Petroleum and our partners, and also by the, you know, that, that um, target that's been set by the RAF which really motivated uh, a final um, flight event which we've carried out today. Royal Air Force is very excited to be involved in this project but it's very much a team effort. You know we've worked with industry, we're working with the Formula One industry, we're working pe with people that used to work in the oil and gas industry. So it's a whole collective of people that have come together to produce this technology and we're going to continue working with those people to produce some great results for our future. Yeah.